Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some Graphite Infinity Doubles. Actually, it's Legendary Slayer Doubles. My apologies. There's not that much difference between Legendary and Infinity on this particular map, to be honest, because, well, everyone's going to use the BRs anyway. The power weapon spawns are exactly the same. And funnily enough, when you play Infinity Slayer, the shotgun doesn't actually have an indicator on the map, as far as I'm aware. I didn't see it last time. The concussion rifle does, but the thing is, the concussion rifle is in such an obvious spot anyway that you'd have to be kind of stupid to miss it. Personally, for me, Graphite, I don't particularly like the on-map weapon spawns. I feel like it kind of would benefit from like a rocket launcher with two bullets on. That just feels like the perfect kind of map, and I love that they did that with Haven. That often, it, it's like having an objective within Team Doubles once you've got a rocket launcher, because you have to really concentrate uh, to gain that, because it is basically two free kills, uh, at the very least one free kill, so... Uh, I don't know, that just, it just feels like that makes maps more interesting, whereas a shotgun that's really well hidden with only five bullets in it, sorry, six bullets in it, um, and a concussion rifle just doesn't really seem enough. And I actually like the map, I really like the way that it's laid out, I really like the fact that it's very easy to be able to get across, as you can see there's the rock in front of me which I'm jumping on right now, it's pretty self-explanatory to be able to get across the map uh, from A to B very easily. Uh, so I, I like this map, just wish there were kind of better power weapon spawns. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Today I wish to talk about the bulletin that was just released recently. Uh, last night I believe it was. It was released quite late, which is a shame. I wish they released it a little bit early so I can make a video about it on the day that it went up. But it goes up at about 3am my time, half the time, or like 2am. And it's just too late to make a video. I would wake my parents up with my shouting about Halo. Um... But anywho, they released the bulletin, and I was kind of expecting a little bit more, to be honest. It wasn't really what I wanted to see. One of the things I really did like, though, and I'll go into that in just a second. Um, but the first thing is basically the Oddball playlist is, of course, making its way. They kind of released that with the calendar uh, that they showed recently, and they, of course, um, reiterated that they were going to have a community play date. Uh, so basically, if you come on on a specific day, I can't remember what it was, but I'll leave a link to, in the description to the bulletin itself. Um, and if you play from like 6 to 8 uh, p.m. PDT, you can play with those guys. So that's pretty awesome that they're doing that every two weeks for now. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, I actually got into a game with them once quite a while ago, and they actually said hello to me and were kind of nice. So that was really awesome. I love the fact that they're willing to interact with the community so regularly. Anywho, so they're bringing back Oddball, and to try and spice things up, they're um, bringing in this new playlist um, called Sticky Ball. And Sticky Ball is basically you get sticky detonators and plasma grenades, and uh, you try and go for the Oddball. And they said it's going to be, like, chaotic. You can stick it to the ball and try and blow people up. Um... To be honest, that kind of sounds a little dumb to me. I'm definitely going to give it a try. It's definitely not my scene. The Sticky Detonator isn't really a weapon that I've particularly loved. I always prefer the Grenade Launcher from Halo Reach, in my opinion. And the Sticky Grenades themselves, it almost feels like they're trolling us a little bit. Because it's just like, hey, we made a Sticky Grenade only playlist. Because we know how much you guys love Sticky Nades. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, it, it shouldn't bother me too much because obviously, you know, everyone's got sticky grenades. It's kind of revolving around that concept. I don't think it's something that's meant to be taken particularly serious. And they said that if it performs well and people respond well to it, they'll put it into action sack. So that sounds fair enough. Uh, personally, definitely not my scene, but I'll give it a try and try to go for a gameplay for it at the very least. Um, the other announcement was that regarding Infinity Slayer, they're going to be... Um, Getting rid of the DLC requirement, which is obviously a huge victory for us guys. And I, I feel like they listened to us really well on that and um, changed things around very quickly. And they were open to admitting their mistakes and saying, well, it turned out that we just didn't have to get the numbers uh, that we expected. Which is fair enough. I mean, Infinity Slayer was a very risky one to do it with. I feel like they should have done it with, I don't know, just one of the more run-of-the-mill playlists. Maybe something like Action Attack. I don't know. Um, and then added in a couple of cool ideas to encourage people to want to get the maps because there was stuff on the Action Sack playlist. I mean, realistically, there was no real um, incentive that, to get the playlist. It's not like they put a discount on the DLC. It's not like they, uh, you know, added in some new game type that made the new maps play a lot better. They just kind of said, hey, buy the maps uh, or you don't get to play this playlist. They pretty much took Infinity Slayer hostage, which in my opinion wasn't a very good idea. I don't think they should have started with that playlist at the very least. A lot of people love Infinity Slayer. Um, and the thing is, there's not many um, playlists that really cater towards the 4v4 
um, combat. I mean, I know Ricochet was a good one, but most people like to play Capture the Flag and Big Team Battle, and uh, those are the playlists that really stand out. Um, and so there's not much that caters towards 4v4. So it just kind of was a little bit harsh, in my opinion. Um, but I hope they, uh, I mean, it, it's kind of annoying because I do want people to play the DLC. The Castle DLC, for instance, was actually one of the DLCs that I really enjoyed, but never really got any time with. P Perdition and Daybreak, I thought were both pretty fun maps, and it's a shame that they've just kind of disappeared. And, you know, the only time that I'm ever going to be able to play those maps is if I get into a really high CSR lobby where everyone happens to have the DLC. And usually it's not even that fun because it's like, you know, those are kind of like big team maps and I want to have fun with them. But usually if I do get against people, it's people who are dedicated to Halo 4 and play it all the time and are absolute beasts. And you know me, I want to play with the lowest of the low. I want to play with a scum and destroy them because I'm a pub stomper. Well, there we go. That's just my take on the matters. I hope you guys are interested in some of the changes. Uh, hopefully you guys have fun playing Oddball when it comes around. Um, I have been Modest Major. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Peace out.